That was the longest game against goblins I have ever seen. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. We are going to be checking out a fun one, but before we do that, I just want to remind you, please subscribe, please hang out with us on the channel. We do a lot of gameplay here. We also have a giveaway going on right now for Neon Dynasty for a full draft booster box. So I want to encourage you guys to subscribe. That's one way you can enter plenty of other ways. So please check out the article and the video. We've got uh, the article on our website at resolvesmtg.com and the video over here on our YouTube landing page. So uh, let's talk about this deck. This is brought to us by Ladum, uh, which is a user on Aetherhub. Uh, unfortunately, they did not have a YouTube channel to link, but I do, again, always try and credit the, the people that create the decks. Uh, and this is a fun one. It's kind of a silly one. It's a self-discard deck. Um, and the idea is to kind of utilize the dying to serve to get a bunch of uh, zombie tokens and things like that um, and use this to kind of uh, discard and create a bunch of pest tokens and things. We can meet Hook Massacre for the win uh, and then hopefully just be able to, you know, control the game with things like Loth, Cathartic Pyre, Infernal Grasp, etc. Uh, we do have the Eye Witch, of course, and that allows us to do quite a number of things in our sideboard. Um, and we have the Deck of Many Things, which is a card that I really haven't played with before, but I'm really excited to. Uh, I think it's quite a good card, and so I'm excited to see if we can get that to work. Uh, we do have the Celestis for a bit of ramp. We've got Unexpected Windfall for some card draw and some discard. Uh, and yeah, that's, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward deck. We do have 61 cards. I love that, uh, that uh, little, little, little thought there. But uh, we do have Field of Ruin in here. Uh, just as a one of, that's really the only tech in the land slot. It's a pretty straightforward list. So, uh, and we do need all the snow lands we can get for the blood on the snow. But all that to say, this should be a pretty fun one. We're going to jump straight in, guys. We're going to have some fun. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty is coming out in just a couple days on Arena. Uh, and so I'm pre-recording as much as I can. So that way we've got as much time as possible when the set does drop. Uh, that we can really jump into it and hopefully get a lot of decks out very quickly. Uh, if we can't get the the gameplay every day like we have been, um, I will hopefully be able to do something in lieu of that. But I just wanted to give everybody a heads up. We're going to do the absolute best we can to make sure that that happens. So that way you guys get more gameplay. We get to enjoy the new set together because it's really going to be a sick one. So without further ado, though, let's jump into this Ras Rakdos self discard deck uh, and see how it does. And here we are, guys, for game number one. Now, this is a bit of a slower hand, but it certainly has all the answers we could possibly need. And of course, it does have the cauldron as well. So I guess we'll try it. We'll see if it works. Um, hopefully we can get there. I'm actually just going to lead on the ridge, though. We really don't need uh, anything in the early game at the moment. So it just seems like a nice way to get both colors of mana. Perfect. That's actually really helpful. Um, we can discard something, get a couple treasure tokens, and then we've got either blood on the snow to kind of reset the board depending on where we're at, or we could just drop a loth uh, or a burn down the house. Um, guys, also one thing to note, uh, at the time of recording this, which is actually nearly a full week before it's going to go up, uh, we have like massively, massively hit some of our target goals. And I know we... One thing I want to mention, uh, if you happen to be a content creator or, you know, want to be a content creator, something important to note is that it's not necessarily all about the stats. However, I am a very analytical person. That's just my nature. It's not something that's good or bad. That's just how I am. And so I do look at stats um, and I do have kind of an emotional reaction to stats if they're good or bad. Sometimes that is what it is. But um, what I will say is you guys have surpassed the goals that I had initially set uh, for the channel. And those goals were supposed to be met by my birthday, which is like February 26th. So we still got a few weeks. Um, you guys have surpassed every single one of them. Uh, now, at the time of doing this, the only one that hasn't been passed quite yet is the... Uh... Oh, I should have. I'm dumb. Um, is the uh, Instagram goal. And that Instagram goal is 10K. Now, something to note, again, I'm recording this almost a full week before it's supposed to go out, so chances of it being passed by that time are actually pretty high. Uh, and so 
I just can't say thank you enough. You, I mean, genuinely, you guys have just blown it out of the water. Uh, and it really does mean a lot to me. You guys are amazing. And to see so much support and so much love on these videos, uh, on the things that we're doing, like, that just means so much to me. Um, and so I can't say thank you enough. I really do appreciate it. I wish you all the absolute best. And it's an absolute pleasure uh, to, to create content for you guys and to hang out. Um, it's just, it's awesome. Uh, I can't do that. Can't do that. I can do that, but it really doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna, we can't block this now. Oh no, we can't unblock it. Well, that's fine. All right. I'm messing up real hard because I'm sitting here gushing over how great you guys are, but it's fine. We're gonna lose this game and then we'll move on to game two. That's cool. Actually, if we draw a land, we can, uh, if it's a red source, we can burn down the house, which would be really sick. Uh, granted, they probably have some answers for us, but. I'm gonna decline, we can lose two life, that's cool. And they can draw a card. Uh, Glass Pool Mimic, huh? Hmm. I do like these little, uh, like, draw decks. They're actually pretty cool. Um, I think we just pass. Oh, nice. I mean, I guess we just try to burn down the house. Chances are there's a counter waiting for us here. Um, oh no, all right, cool. Well, that was helpful. Cool, we did it. We reset. That's actually really helpful. Uh, apparently they're stuck on lands though because they still only have three and they don't have a second blue source, which would signify a solid coming in my opinion. Um, but they haven't foretold anything either, so. This little doggo and this little spirit guy. All right, opponent, what are we doing? Um, next turn we have Loth. If we draw a land, we do have the blood on the snow, which we probably don't need yet. All right, there's the land. Um, I think we drop Lolf. If it gets countered, we get to blood on the snow at back, so that seems relevant. Or if they burn it. All right, cool. We did it. I do feel a little bad for the opponent, because despite our mess-ups, uh, we've been able to kind of rebuild here a little bit, uh, only because they're really stuck on lands. Also, why didn't they kill the Lolf? They could have easily just frostbitten the Lolf and killed it. That seems way better. Whatever. It's fine by me. Um, nice. Uh, let's draw a card. First, Celestis. That's actually really helpful. We need a little bit of life gain in here, uh, so I'm super cool with that. Um, we'll attack in. And I think we do kill uh, the the outlaw here this gives them treasure tokens which obviously offsets their mana issue i'm not really interested in letting them do that so i would love to take that action thank you um i think we'll discard this actually i kind of want to keep the blood on the snows because this is obviously somewhat of a creature deck and so it's important that we have availability um you're gonna frostbite this it's fine like a little annoying i guess but that's fine uh, we've got answers. And we also just have a little 2-1 that can ping you over and over. Um, play the black source. Uh, attack in. Pass. Uh, this allows us to do this, which is super helpful. Let's take that action. Ooh. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's keep the Eye Witch. That's another threat. It's also just a, I mean, it's a tiny little threat, but it's also a way to get a card out of the sideboard here. So I actually really like that. Okay. Uh, nice. I'm gonna kill it, but that's cool. Awesome. Um, all right. First things first. Boom. We did it. Blood on the snow. Destroy all creatures. Yeah. <laughs> uh, get Loth back. Do this. Do this. All right. Um, I guess we could have played the other one too, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'll draw a card and discard a card. That's cool. Don't really need more lands at this point. I think we're okay on that front. Um, we really should start to throw some little one ones out, but we just haven't really needed to. Uh, yeah, that's cool. 
they're just very stuck on land i'm sure they have a very low land count in a deck like this where they're drawing cards and most of their stuff is like two drops and everything like it makes sense that they don't have a lot but um it's definitely becoming a problem for them uh let's uh i guess we could just wait because then we can draw a card off of this gain a life and see what we get another loth that's nice very cool. I'm into it. Um, we also can start exiling cards from their graveyard, which is probably something we'd like to do. That's one thing about this deck is you can just kind of wait and do stuff later, despite having a lot of like non-instant speed things to do. Um, you do have like the Cauldron and the, the Celestis, which I guess this is only as a sorcery, but still. All right, you did it. You got another Brazen Outlaw. Way to be there. Oh, one of my favorite cards. Oh, I love that. Uh, yeah, dude, that's so sick. That is genuinely one of my favorite cards. I think that card is sick. Um, I'm just exiling four random cards and we get to draw a card. Meat hook, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I'll take the action. Another blood on the snow, huh? Oh, I guess we'll discard one. That's cool. Um, all right, well, first things first, we gonna ping them. Uh, second, whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses a life. We did it. We win, guys. We're amazing. Uh, despite kind of having a, not a rough start, but definitely kind of a scary start, we still won the game. That's amazing. Well done. Let's jump into game number two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and while this doesn't look super exciting, it does have some of the interaction that we're looking for, and then that unexpected windfall should be pretty helpful. So we're gonna run with this. Uh, one thing I noticed, for whatever reason, it took me off of the ranked, uh, and I didn't ask it to. I don't really know why. Uh, and so we are back on ranked. Uh, I'm still gonna mark the video as ranked, but I don't know why why that happened it also even changed my avatar so that's a little weird but anyway uh let's do this we get to leave up that cathartic pyre here uh and hopefully deal with any potential creatures very curious as to what the opponent might be doing um could be rogues could be just control uh which all of that is a little scary but we'll see what we can do uh definitely just have to pass here hope for the best um Cathartic Pyre should be pretty good here, but we will see. There's a lot of nothing. This is two control decks at their finest. Um, <laughs> so we can wait again because unexpected windfall is instant speed. So we really don't have to do anything at the moment, but wait. Oh, that's what we're doing. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, well, in that case, Cathartic Pyre looks a lot worse. So we're going to discard that. <laughs> Um, single, like, I'm gonna click on this and kill it is not super great against this deck. So, let's go deck of many things. That's always a nice little card. Um, we can activate it if we would like. Wow. Alright. Yeah. I mean, that's really sick. Um, let's do this. Might as well. We don't have any creatures on the battlefield, so a nat 20 would be terrible, but... Hey, we get Cathartic Fire back. That's kind of nice. Um, Alright, so... I think we just do this, and... That's it. <laughs> that's, like, all we can really do. I'm really confused, though, because they haven't played any zombies yet. Alright, there's one. We did it. We got one. Uh, Yeah, that's cool. This is really good, uh, but we're going to kill them all, so. We're going to deck of many things. I really like this card, by the way. Return a card at random. Fantastic. We just have our hand back now. Uh, let's do this again. I love this little engine. This is so sick. Um, can you counter? No. All right, cool. Celestis isn't bad. Oh, yes, please. Um... All right, so let's drop this down first. Uh, I then think we just meat hook for three. 
that sets up any future kills is like really important for us so let's meet hook for three get all this crap out of here hopefully we don't just die like if they have a counter that's a little annoying but i don't think this deck is gonna run counters it's zombies so that doesn't seem accurate to me <clears throat> they do have a lot of deadly disputes holy crap hey good on them they got to refill their whole hand like that's pretty sick we still kill one of them though haha -ha. And we gain a life yeah so now anytime we discard a card though uh the dying to serve is really gonna do a number on the uh board here so hopefully we can get somewhere with this we'll see <clears throat> Hellstinger Necro Duality is one of the coolest combos. Uh, little mini combo, of course, but it's so sick. Uh, <laughs> we gain a life when they exploit, though. That's kind of cool. Yeah, dude. Are you exploiting it? Please do, because then I can just Infernal Grasp and not have to sweep. That'd be really helpful. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this get that going um i think that's just the right call we don't have anything for blood on the snow to get back right now which is kind of annoying um i think we do this i, I mean we might as well a two look at that um all right let's do that we'll discard a land get more stuff we get a 2-2. Two, two. I love this engine, guys. Look at this. This is so sick. Uh, really wish we had a way to, like... I mean, I guess... Nah, I really wish we had a way to deal with that, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna auto-pay this. So what we can do is, during their turn, discard. Um, and that'll still trigger this, which is kind of nice. Oh, they're gonna counter it. Oh, so sick. Yeah, dude. That's amazing. That's really good. Like, super, super good. For sure. Uh, it's not the end of the world, though, um, for us. We're not dead yet. Hopefully, they don't have more of these scabs that they can <clears throat> really bolster the board and just kill us this upcoming turn. But it is what it is. We got this. Um, next turn is sweet turn. We definitely just sweep the board. There's, like, no other good option. All right, cool. It just means they didn't have anything else, which is good. Let's draw and discard a card. Definitely want to do that. We'll discard this. Get a little tutu. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do this. Uh, definitely just going to attack in first. Okay. Yep. Um, and then I think we just burn down the house right that seems like a reasonable option if they have another amalgam that's annoying okay um what can we do about this we resolve it they get so much out of this it's ridiculous um i think we might just be dead <laughs> if we had another like treasure token or something we could have actually also blood on the snowed but I just don't think we can get around that. Um, yeah. I mean, that's fine. Honestly, like, this was a, a really cool game, so I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we'll just deck them many things for the, for the sake of doing it. Another two! What'd we get? We have to discard our hand on two? What? <laughs> that sucked. Uh, okay. Well... It's zero or less, discard your hand. But it wasn't zero or less. Wasn't it two? Oh, well. All right. Well, we just got wrecked, which is fine. Let's jump into a third game. All right, guys. Here we are for our third game. Uh, do we want to keep this? This is a bit of an odd one. Um, hmm. We really need lands. So what's the likelihood we draw lands? I mean, we've got Cathartic Pyre, which can really help us out. I'm going to try it. This is probably a bad keep. Um, ooh, especially against this. This is a really bad keep. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> that's helpful. Uh, that's actually really, really helpful. 
Um, yeah, that's actually really good. So this allows us to definitely play this on black. So we've got the double black, uh, get that pestilent cauldron down. Um, and then we've actually got some options late game, but I'm going to leave up that, uh, that cathartic pyre. Obviously they have like a hobgoblin. Uh, I just need to kill it like immediately. That's not a hobgoblin. Really should have done this already, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Kind of a mistake on my end, but it's all good. Yep. Let's get this out and this out. I think we actually discard the Lolf uh, to this. I think that's just kind of the best bet. They can't activate Den. I mean, they can, but it can't attack yet, so... Uh, yeah. It's fine. I think we definitely block the Fireblade Charger when they attack here. Um, they might just Royal Eruption. It's only Sorcery Speed, I suppose, but that's definitely like a good solid three points of damage. Yeah. Uh, resolve. Do that first. All right, uh, we need a land off the top very badly here, so let's hope we can do it. Um, we can bring that back, by the way, with the blood on the snow, which is why I don't particularly care that we're ditching it. Um, they're going to hit us for one here, but at least we got that off the field, so any future... Uh, another cathartic pyre. Okay. It's not a land, but it is an answer uh, to what's on the board, so I think we wait uh, and see what they do here. Again, if they have a Hobgoblin or if they activate Den, we just kill it. Or that. We definitely kill that. Um, yep. We could use this to, like, draw some cards, but honestly, at this point, I think we just kind of need to do that. Uh, we can still do this. Um, and I think I will discard a Blood on the Snow. Uh, we're just trying to save ourselves as much as we can here this kills it before it even blocks but we gain a life in the process it's a lot to just gain a life but they don't deal damage there okay um uh let's wait in case they activate the den of the bugbear which is very likely actually um this will give us our second red source, so we at least have the unexpected windfall available. Um, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, we're definitely just killing that. <laughs> um, that just gets it out of there. It's not a problem anymore. They already sunk a lot of mana into it, so this is their turn, basically. Unless they just drew another one drop, which is likely, but like that one drop isn't going to make or break this game yet. Um, we can get that second red source. Now this is available to us. That's perfect. All right. Uh, do we discard a card here? I think not. I think we just take the two. Um, give me a land. Oh, come on. Uh, dang. So we can do this discard a card. I hate doing that, but I think it's just the right play. And I think it's this. I don't know. Give me a land. Come on. Okay. Land is good. Land is very, very helpful. Oh, that's very good. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to meat hook now. Let's get these things off of the field before they can just straight kill us. All right. That is supremely, supremely helpful. Definitely makes me feel a little bit, of, a little bit better. Uh, and we actually gained some life in this process. So perfect. All right. We didn't win the game, but we reset the board. <laughs> we have officially kind of stabilized. Uh, they still can play this, which is annoying and get in for an attack, but we actually have the answer for it in hand. Uh, and again, if we draw a land, we can get Lolf out as well. And we'll we'll be golden. All right, Whew. come on. Give me a land, any land. That's not a land. Um, and we can't even like, we can't even do that. Uh, we would discard both of our blood on the snows, which we just can't do. Um, all right, let's do this before anything else hits the battlefield. I think that's pretty important. 
this won't give haste or plus one plus zero to anything else so that's helpful we also gain a life which keeps us in the game <laughs> uh yeah we take one but again a land solves our problem still not a land uh although that kind of helps i guess uh, like our two twos will outpace them at some point i suppose we really should be drawing cards what am i doing it's fine we're fine this is a interesting game weirdly um they're keeping us on the edge because we can't draw a freaking land <laughs> I just need a land. They have land. The goblin deck has more land than we do. What is this? I am going to discard a blood on the snow here. Gets us a 1-1 one, one and a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, granted, I know the 1-1's one, about to die, but it's fine. Or are they going to just zap it? Okay. That's fine. It's annoying, but that's about it. Um, and honestly, it kills their, or it gets rid of a frostbite, which to us is important when we've got an incoming wall. So, all right, let's gain a life. They lose a life. Oh my Lord. Um, all right. We just have to do this now, I think. We have to get a land. Like we cannot do this. I don't know why in the world it's so difficult for us to draw a land. And still no land. <laughs> oh my gosh. At least it's a Loth. Uh, Loth is actually very good for us because we can drop those two, two, or two ones. And like, they're clearly not doing a lot either. So at least there's that. This is insane. I mean, this is just ridiculous. All right, let's do this. This only targets one of the creatures worth noting. They're gonna frostbite this, I assume. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I'm doing this now. We don't really need another dying to serve. All right. Good Lord. What in the world is this game? <laughs> At least now, though, we've actually got a pretty substantial board against what they're trying to do. Um, so we have, a, we have a shot here. This is just insane. Okay, I am going to double block this. They get to choose one of these to kill immediately, and then the other one's going to trade with the Javelin here. Um, this is a dumb game. It's a really dumb game. Yeah. All right, cool. Gain some life. That's super good. Still no land. Holy crap, guys. This is insane. Okay, uh, let's exile some cards. Two, three, four. It's gonna draw us some a card. And then we'll play that Eye Witch. Still no land. This helps us, because at least at some point we'll be able to draw a freaking land. Good lord. Um What's the scariest thing they could have? Hobgoblin? Oh, that's pretty scary. I mean we can kill that, so that's fine, but yeah, that's that's pretty scary. They're really confused about how they're attacking. Maybe they're not attacking. They're not attacking. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay, Celestis is very good. Let's just throw that out. Um, yeah. I think they're just holding off for a Hobgoblin. Makes sense. Den of the Bugbear is very good against us right now, so that's not a bad play for them. Uh... All right, we're gonna draw a card and discard a card for sure. Take that action. I'm discarding the cal the cauldron. <laughs> we don't need it. Let's get another two two. Look at that! Freaking finally. Now we really don't want it, but that's fine. Um, I'm attacking with everything, and we're gonna sweep, and we're gonna get a lull. Uh, they do have the Den of the Bugbear still, of course, we know that, but that's fine. They have to double block this if they're going to. Yep. Cool. Do it. You did it. Way to be there. Cool. This is, like, the most elongated game I think I've ever seen. Uh, for no real good reason. Alright, let's do this. 
wait a second one two we can't even get loth back can we we don't have enough snow lands <laughs> uh do we just it might just be the deck of many things then we're out of range of them just straight killing us i think so i'm not as worried about that anymore uh let's go ahead and activate this I think we're at that point where that's okay. No! Why? Why? <laughs> okay. Well, we just kind of shot ourselves in the foot a little bit, but it's fine. Everything's fine. All right, Den of the Bugbear, get in there. Our attack was dumb. Uh, I did not think about the Snowlands. We don't have enough. Uh, we need five Snowlands to get the Loth back, and we just don't have it. So that's kind of unfortunate. But... That's fine. We should have waited, I guess, on the, the deck of many things until their turn. I guess that would have made more sense. Okay. Uh, now what? I am going to deck of many things now, though. 11. Draw two cards. That's actually super good. Okay. Yeah. Um, killed this. I guess we could, should have waited and killed the den, but I think that's actually okay. We do gain a life and then lose two, so that's kind of bad, but, um, all right. Yeah, I'm just going to discard this now. All right. Uh, there's no reason to do this. Okay, whatever. If I throw this game, I throw this game. This has been a heck of a game, though. Uh, against goblins, this is stupid. <laughs> we should not have taken this long. Yeah, activate that den, dude. Heck yeah. Attack me. Thank you. All right, so we block here. We block here. We have to double block this. I think. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really care. All right. We gained some life. Actually, a good bit of life. And then we have a learn trigger. Uh, yes, that. We want that. Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is so stupid. All right. Cool. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. Do this. Okay. That's actually really good. Yeah, uh, do that. We get to leave that up. I'm gonna attack in. We need to, we need to finish this game. We get to leave up Infernal Grasp, um, which can kill some stuff here. In particular, this. This is a ridiculous game, guys. This has been insane. Okay. I'm gonna kill this. They're just going to activate this as many times as they can. It makes sense. I get it. Yep. I'm discarding this. Gets us another 2-2 and a 1-1 one -one that gains us life. And I think that that's pretty relevant. So they get the little 1-1 one -one guy, but that's fine. So we block here, we block here, and we block here. All right, can we please just win this game? For the love of everything, can we please just win this game? <laughs> Thank you, oh my gosh. That was the longest game against goblins I have ever seen. All right, let's talk about this deck. All right, guys, that was insane. Um. First of all, I misplayed a good bit during those games. However, the deck still did pretty well. Uh, I actually really like this one. Uh, Ladum, thank you so much. I believe it was Ladum for sharing this deck over on Aether Hub. I really do appreciate it. It's a pleasure to, to be able to play and test the viability of everybody's decks there. It's actually really fun. But man, I don't even know what to say. I'm a little speechless after that last game. That was a fun deck, though. Uh, I will say it felt very well tooled out. And the 
the discard into the like dying to serve thing felt good but it didn't actually feel like the game winning kind of cards you know what i mean like a lot of the ma basic control elements felt like the game winning cards and so um i did enjoy having that aspect to it and it certainly made a difference especially in that last game to have those extra blockers um however in general i didn't feel like it was as powerful as i was expecting now that being said that could have been very much dependent on the subset of games that we had so i don't want to just discredit that that's just how it felt in the moment uh and so regardless very fun deck highly recommend trying this one out uh again guys we've only got a couple more days until neon dynasty drops on arena we're going to be retooling relooking at all the kinds of decks that we are expecting to see in this meta it's going to be a great time guys so we got a couple more days we're going to have some fun on those with some very silly decks hopefully uh, but regardless, I do appreciate everybody watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And we will see you guys in the next gameplay video. See you guys.